Welcome to this video on Business and Entrepreneurship Education, Grade 8. Today, we'll look at Unit 9, which is on Entrepreneurs and ICT, Part 1. The learning objectives of this unit are to recognize the importance of information in the enterprise and to describe the role and importance of ICT to entrepreneurs. What is ICT? Information and communication technology helps to store, record and manage information efficiently. ICT refers to the use of technologies that are used for collecting, sorting, editing and passing on information in various forms to communicate with others. Enterprise need information about number of customers, details of employees, cash collected from sales, and details of materials purchased from suppliers. How this information can be recorded? Recording information is very important in any enterprise. Without key information, an enterprise will face many difficulties. Years back, information were recorded manually. However, nowadays, information can be computerized. That is, entrepreneurs can make use of ICT to record information. Now, let us see what are the different ICT tools that businesses can use. First of all, we have mobile phones. Mobile phones are wireless devices that allow users to make and receive calls and to send messages with other different options available. Mobile phones facilitate communication between customers and suppliers by sending and receiving emails and messages. Another ICT tools that businesses can use is website. Website is a group of World Wide Web pages, usually containing hyperlinks to each other and made available online by individuals or businesses. Websites are used to describe business activities advertising products and maintaining contact with customers. Social networking sites and messaging apps are another tools for ICT. They are an online platform that allows users to create a public profile and internet with other users on the website. They are used to promote business products and keep contact with suppliers and customers. ATMs are machines found outside the bank which the entrepreneur can use to facilitate banking transactions. ATMs can be used to deposit and withdraw money. Barcode reader it is an electronic scanning machine that reads and sends barcode information. Barcodes are used to scan products and provide details on the price and the amount of inventory. They are widely used in supermarkets and hypermarkets. Point of sale terminal. It is an electronic device used to process payments at retail locations. It is used to process and record sales transactions. Shops, supermarkets and even bakeries are using point-of-sale terminal. Payment terminal device. It is a device which interfaces with payment cards to make electronic funds transfers. It is used to make electronic funds transfers with payment cards.
computer and laptop. It is a machine that accepts data as input, processes that data using programs, and output the processed data. Computers are used to collect, store, process, and communicate information in various forms. Printer. It is a device that converts computer output into printed images and pages. Printers are used to print out documents on paper in order to have a physical copy of text documents, diagrams or photos. Fax machines. Fax machines are devices that can send or receive pictures and text over a telephone line. Fax machines are used to send and receive documents to suppliers and customers. There are many benefits when using ICT. The first advantage is collection of information. Information can be more easily collected, stored, transferred and managed. Another advantage of using ICT is quantity of information. ICT allows the processing of a large amount of information. Moreover, ICT improves communication. Employees can communicate more easily using ICT. And the last advantage is decision making. Decision making process is more effective with the use of ICT. However, there are also some drawbacks when using ICT. The disadvantages are more capital is required. More capital is required to purchase and install the ICT devices. Cost. Cost of maintaining and replacing devices are high. Impersonal communication. That is, it reduces face-to-face -face communication. And lastly, distraction. ICT may cause distraction at work and employees may lose concentration. How to select the best ICT devices? Among the various ICT devices that are available, Entrepreneurs should select the most appropriate ones to make the most of their benefits. Here are some additional resources that will help you further. Well, that's all for part one. Hope to see you again for part two very soon. Until the next, bye!